Welcome to the Daily Energize Podcast, where you'll get a jolt of energy and a quick tip to help you conquer your day. Now here's your host, the Prince of Positivity himself, Spencer Jones. Hey Energizer, happy Friday and the last day of the work week. That is, if you work Monday to Friday, maybe you work another time, and that's okay too. But, well, in any case, happy day. Whenever you're listening to this Friday or another day, work week or not, doesn't matter. Just thank you for being here, being part of our family. It's not something I take for granted, and I'm so incredibly grateful for you. So thank you so much. If you could do me just a super quick favor, take 30 seconds and leave a rating and review of this podcast, The Daily Energize, I would really appreciate it. It doesn't take long. And I know not all platforms allow it, but if the platform you are listening to does allow ratings and reviews, please take the 30 seconds. It really helps us help and get in front of even more people. So thank you in advance. All right, today's episode is all about looking back to celebrate. That's right. Most of the times I say, don't, you know, let's not focus on looking backwards, right? We, we get sucked into that whole backward looking mindset and then then we miss the stuff going forward and we can get sucked into guilt and shame and all the things that can happen from looking back. But we do want to look back at times because it can help us learn and grow. Right, let's look for the things that we struggled with. What are the lessons, the opportunities there so that we can be more prepared for the future? But that's not even why I'm talking about looking back today. Nope. I already mentioned it. We're looking back today so we could celebrate. So, all right, it's Friday or whenever you're listening to this, but let's say it's Friday, the day it comes out. Take a look back on this week. Starting, you know, Sunday or even Monday, take a look. What were some successes and some wins that you experienced? Now, they could be any size. It doesn't matter. They could be big ones. They could be small ones. They could be somewhere in between. It doesn't matter. But what are some wins? And I invite you to, to just think about it. I'll give you just a, a couple, sec- couple seconds. I'll shut up in a little bit and just allow you to reflect. Think of those different things and try to think of, of as many as possible. If you want to write them down on a piece of paper, post a note, go for it. Write them in your phone, go for it. If you're driving, don't do those. Just think about them and uh, um, we'll, we'll come back. So I'll give you like 15 seconds to reflect and just think of what were some of the wins and successes of any size you experienced this last week. All right, it's about 15 seconds. What wins did you experience this last week? For me, I was successful some of the time, not all the time, but I was successful not being on my phone as much when Katie and I were hanging out. I I was happy that I was able to to get off of that because that's been a challenge for me. Now, was it a success all the time? No, but it was better, so I'm going to celebrate that. One of the other wins I had was to not beat myself up when I missed one of my workouts. We had people over, hanging out, and I, uh, just, I honestly didn't make it a priority. Now I could use, and I could beat myself up over it, and I have in the past, but I'm not going to this time. Instead, I'm just going. Okay, let's come back to it. Let's just come right back to it now, and keep living life. And what can I do in the future if I choose to work out when other people are over? What are some other wins? Hmm. What wins did you experience? Remember, the size of it doesn't matter. Maybe you got a promotion. Maybe you you got a new car or a house. Amazing. Maybe maybe you just didn't blow up at that person when you were so furious. They were just, you're boiling inside and you didn't blow up at them. That's a win. It's a huge win. Or maybe you didn't blow up as much as you have in the past or that you, you could have. Maybe you... You finished a project that that's been uh, on your desk for some time. I'm not sure. I'm not sure exactly what the wins are for you, but you know. Take time to celebrate them. So many times we just keep going forward. We just hope oh, keep going. Hope oh, keep going. Hope oh, keep going. I'm extremely guilty of that. 
just always looking forward, never taking a moment to look back and celebrate. I'm trying to get better at it, and I have. I've gotten a lot better. But it's still something I struggle with. Hence why this episode, for you, which also serves as a reminder for me to celebrate our wins. Because you have wins. Big or small, doesn't matter. Celebrate them in a way that works for you. It doesn't have to be food celebration. It could just be a pat on the back. You can give yourself a, a little break. Maybe you get yourself a, a little token of something if you want. But celebrate. Because you've had some incredible wins. Now let's go enjoy today. Enjoy the weekend. And I will see you back on Monday. Until then, keep being you and shining bright. And I will catch you later. Do you know that we put together a variety of events, retreats, and experiences all aimed at helping you step into your light and shine bright? Well, if not, now you know. We do things like a winter yoga retreat, meditation experience, crush and conquer where we build courage and confidence. Even we have uh, one day events all aimed to help you shine bright. Well, if you are curious and want to learn more about the cool events we have, just check out our website, wearejonesin4.com. So we are, W-E-A-R-E, Jonesin4, J-O-N-E-S-I-N-F-O-R.com. We are Jonesin4.com and check out the amazing events. Katie and I would love to see you at one of them or all of them, right? And they're cool because we have stuff that's big, uh, 150 plus people down to four to 12, nice intimate setting. So if that interests you and you want to come hang out and step into your light even more, make sure you go to wearejonesandford.com. All right. Thank you so much and have an awesome day.